Hi there guys, Nathan here with TFL Studios in Kissimmee, Florida. And this, well, this isn't exactly what you think it is because ECD, East Coast Defender, built this vehicle. Yeah, it looks like a Defender 110, and you'd be right on the outside. But underneath, it's a completely different vehicle. All right, guys, not exactly your average Land Rover engine. No, this is a 565 horsepower LS3 Plus hooked up to a six-speed automatic transmission. And of course, it's a proper four-wheel drive vehicle. So it's built for serious 4x4 adventures. And the thing is, is that everything under here is completely rebuilt and brand new. That includes the engine, transmission, and it's good old-fashioned American air conditioning, which is a good thing because that's one of the few things we do well. The entire setup makes this vehicle sound great. It is ridiculously fast and powerful. But the cool thing is, is that in terms of capacity, it can hold a lot. This is such a cool setup. And remember, this is specifically made for the client. So there are a couple of unique things in here. Now, first of all, for those of you who don't know, old school Land Rover 110s like this, well, they did have these types of seats set up so you could hold up to eight people in this particular configuration. And for this setup, to lower the seat, you pop a couple buttons here and bring that out. And voila, you got a place to sit. And the cool thing is this client specifically wanted air conditioning for the third row passenger. I don't know why, because they don't deserve it, but he does have those vents and they were custom built. So everything you see here has been built up and added by ECD. That's including this retractable step, bumpers, this tow hitch setup, backup camera. All of these components that are put onto the vehicle are added by the company at the customer's request. So everything you see here is exactly the way the customer ordered it. Oh, and I should mention, check this out. This is extra padding here. There's a huge mat underneath it and then a secondary component. And then this carpet, which is apparently sourced from uh, the same carpet company that, uses, that Bentley uses. And the interior in this vehicle is as quiet, if not quieter, than a Bentega. And I've been in a Bentega and I can tell you, other than the engine noise, this thing is remarkably quiet. All right, guys, now check this out. This was built specifically for a owner, right? So the, he came in and specifically said, I want these seats with this type of pattern, this type of stitching, and this type of color. Now, all the seating controls that are in this area here, for those of you who don't know, <laughs> this controls your seat, okay? It's heated and cooled, and you have window controls here as well. Now, if you want lockers, you can get lockers. In this case, the client wanted something rather specific, and I don't know if the cameraman can catch this, but do you see where it says exhaust? cut out yep we're gonna try that so you can get whatever type of head unit you want I've seen a variety of different ones in different vehicles and because it has a backup camera that goes right here all your controls are here modern air conditioning which comes out of an American setup, which once again is really good because honestly, <laughs> Land Rover didn't have great air conditioning when they had it. This whole setup here is fairly modern and you have modern hookups here as well. Now on top of all this, you may notice for those of you who are Land Rover fans that this indeed is from a Land Rover, but they pulled the entire thing out, completely reconditioned it, made it brand new and added components to it, including stitched leather. Okay, so some vehicles have Nardi or Momo or whatever. In this case, he wanted to go with something a little bit more traditional and then went untraditional with this, which is cool. This is whoever this person is. We don't know the owner's name. This is what they wanted. And what's really cool is that all the components and everything here, for those of you who are familiar with Land Rovers, it's all very familiar, normal, but at the same time, you reach over and you grab this stick and pull it down into drive and you're suddenly driving a vehicle that has incredible horsepower and a very smooth shifting transmission. Now, you're wondering, I bet, well, what type of transmission can I get? Guess what? You can get up to eight different powertrains. That's including several different American V8s, including this big one, and there's a more powerful version. You can also get a diesel engine. You can also get, if you want, the original, but rebuilt Land Rover V8. And now you are able to get a Tesla powertrain. 
That's right. Keep in mind, these vehicles are not inexpensive. They start in the high hundreds, like say $180,000, $190,000, and they can go way up from there. And obviously something like this, well, it's a pretty penny. This thing purrs <laughs> like it's really angry. It kind of reminds me of the exhaust note at idle of our TRX, but the same as Borla exhaust is like super, super deep. <laughs> and it's ridiculously powerful. And the cool thing about it is, okay, it's got full air suspension, right? So you can adjust the ride height, you can adjust the firm and or not so firm ride, which is awesome. Okay, how about we take off? Ready for a little speed? <laughs> wow! Okay, um, color me impressed. This thing's got a lot of power. <laughs> it's got cojones! And the thing is, right now the ride is nice and floaty. Um, steering is beautifully boosted. It's just heavy enough to not be too light. I don't like light steering. And it's very comfortable and very easy. The question is, I mean, this is a lot of money for this vehicle. Is it worth it with this type of crazy power and capability and drivability? And I say yes. <laughs> of course I do. Because it's just ridiculous. It is just ridiculous. All right, guys, check this out. This is not your regular storage compartment because, okay, it's got wireless charging, which is great, but this is your setup for your air suspension, which you can put into a maintenance mode. You can lift it, you can lower it, you can drop the nose, you can drop the rear, depending on what you want to do. And this is a remote control, so you can actually take it with you. Pretty cool stuff. I think I'm gonna jack it up a little. I wanted you guys to see the back seats because there's a couple of cool things. Now, first of all, you can get bucket seats and these are really cool. It's got this really interesting design. And remember, the guy chose this. He came in and said, I want this to look like this and that's what they gave him. But you also get, yep, that's right, they're power seats. You can control climate control back here, high and low, air conditioning, window control, big cup holders and a little tiny storage area. Yeah, perfect family vehicle, because when I drive something like this, I want my spouse to grab this, the oh my goodness gracious bar. There's better words for it, but I can't use those on video. Little glove compartment here, which is fully lined. Man, you know, I gotta tell you something. It's not a question of the fact that we're covering this vehicle because we love off-road vehicles and we love Land Rovers. It's the fact that it is so well made and so cool that I am seriously trying to frame Roman for a robbery that I'm going to commit so I can make money and buy one of these. Now I've mentioned before with other off-road videos that we've done that I'm not a big fan of giant roof racks that are a little overcomplicated. And this may go to another level, but it doesn't really matter with a vehicle like this because you have so much weight with the giant engine, huge wheels and running gear, this isn't gonna make much of a difference. And it's really cool. Aside from the ladder that's in the back, you do have areas that you can grab. This whole thing is pretty damn structural, so I would imagine that it's gonna be nice and robust when you do flip it because a lot of people who buy these don't know how to off-road. But on top of that, it's got lights set up all around the vehicle so you can splash entire 360 degrees. I can tell you a certain thing about the owner based on just the tire selection alone. This owner doesn't want to do any crazy mountaineering. What they want to do is drive with really, really good all season mud terrain tires. And that's exactly what they get with these generals. Instead of going with the full blown hardcore boulder built tires, as you know, lots of tire makers make. So this setup here makes a lot of sense for somebody who's going to commute with it and occasionally go off road. <laughs> This thing's a lot of fun. Oh my God, it drives so great. It's interesting because I'm not used to having this type of vehicle surrounding me with such a cushy ride and really good responses. So it's, it's sort of an alien thing for me, unusual territory. Oh, and that's without the exhaust turned on. And if I flip this switch, yeah, it's, it's a lot more. <laughs> All right, so let's turn on to this street. I'm gonna do one more little tiny minor acceleration. And 
man, I wish I could take it off road. Um, oh. oh, the sound, the sound. As much as we like electric cars, the reality is, is that sound is just, oh, hair in my chest is just extended a quarter of an inch. This would actually give Tommy some facial hair. It's that good. It's funny, I feel like I'm touching off-road royalty or the potential thereof because this guy's setup, it's pretty clever and it really does show what this company can do. From the really unique and polarizing interior to all the accessories on the outside and the fact that from the ground up, including the frame, everything you see here, all the components, all the paint, everything, all done in-house. All of it done within about a year and all of it done over the course of about 2,200 man hours. There's 50 guys that work on these things. It's pretty damn incredible, and I want one. Thanks for joining me for TFL Studios. This is Nathan. I'll see you next time.